Moth Creations in Tarot, and I'm doing one more video today, same sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Elemental Wisdom, I think. It's by the Teca Studio, it says For the Love of Cards. If you guys don't know this company, they're the ones that did the, um, God, my lighting is terrible. The, um, the dark, I'm having a hard time here. This is like my sixth video today. The Dark Mansion Tarot, which I totally love. It's got a whole like Tim Burton feel to it. This deck, completely different. I've seen a few um, examples of cards online, but I really don't know that much about uh, the cards in the deck. It It's very, um, I don't know, almost ethereal type. Um, I, haven't, I haven't even looked at it. It's still like... <laughs> in here. So I'm going to turn the camera around so we can take a look at the cards. Excited. See you in a second. Okay guys, so I have turned around the camera. I think I need to raise this up just a little bit so you guys can see this better. Okay, so we have the... Oh, I'm so sorry that my lighting is still shitty. I need to figure this out. Hold on. Make another adjustment. Okay, the Elemental Wisdom tarot. I'm super excited. I've been stocking this deck since I um, heard about it. This company I love. I love their other deck. So here is their box and it is a magnetic closure. Yay. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, so they have another deck coming out that I've been wanting. So, okay, we're going to look at this first. The Elemental Wisdom. This, yeah, let's kind of pull this stuff out of here. Oh, is there no book? Darn. I bet, okay, I don't think I got the deluxe for this, and I bet there's a book in this. So this apparently is a card coming in 2021. Oh, my God, how gorgeous. I saw the Hierophant card. For this deck, it's on their um, Instagram if you guys are interested. So, yeah, apparently I'm going to be getting this deck too. I wonder what this is. I don't think it's the Chariot. Maybe this is like the Six of Wands. It's almost like your victory, you know, tour or whatever that the Six of Wands would be. So, anyways, that's fun. All right, I don't know. Okay. So, oh, and then they've got one coming in 2022. Oh, look at that. Hmm. I guess this is the moon card. We've got kind of illusion right there with that mask. But, oh my, this, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, cool. All right, let's get started. So this is the backs of um, this deck. It seems to be the same uh, cardstock that the Dark Mansion um, has. I can't decide where my light is best at. Okay, so it's black edging, um, a silky feel to the cards and they are thick. Okay, I'm gonna move these out of the way so you guys don't see anything. So we've got the Fool. So, I mean, I like this card. I'm not a huge fan of the Fool being a jester because I feel like the Fool is not somebody to be made fun of. And I feel like that is what you get when you think of a jester. Um, to me, the Fool is just the beginning of a journey. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I never really like when the fool is depicted as a jester, but it's a very pretty card. Oh, look at the magician. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look, it's got the infinity symbol on his, um, altar. Nice. And it's almost like he's wielding the power of that storm back there, the lightning. Ah. Uh. Oh my God, I'm already totally in love with, oh my God, look at the High Priestess. Oh my God. Wow. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite decks now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, 
Okay, and so the Empress to me is always a card that I resonate with and she does not disappoint. I did see this one online. It's The colors are so much more vibrant in person. Oh, and she's got her pomegranates. There's our Venus symbol. Oh my God. And then of course, wheat in the background. So definitely um, Red or Wait inspired. Just as their other deck, the Emperor. He's got what appears to be a lion over here. So he's got Leo. He he should have some Aries. Um, some Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry if my got out of camera. You can see the Aries symbolism, the ram on his uh, cloak. And he's got his scepter. Hopefully I'm getting this in frame. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm just looking at the cards. <laughs> Ooh, the Hierophant. Look at the lovers. Uh, they got their apple, so we know choice here, y'all. Wow, a very, very Garden of Eden um, esque. Oh, the chariot. That is fab. Oh, look at strength. Oh my God, like I'm in love with this deck already. Holy shit. The Hermit. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. It's got all of our fixed signs of the Zodiac. It's got our either Torah, tarot. You can interpret this in a bunch of different ways. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God. I cannot wait to do a reading with this. I'm so excited. Look at justice. This deck is amazing. God, the artwork is so gorgeous. I wish I had a book. I wonder if I could buy a book. Now this came from Poland. So yeah, I, I waited a long time because it was on pre-order forever. The Hanged Man, that's really cool. He Look at this, he's part of the tree. That is neat. Or you know what, let me even look in here. Maybe I didn't even get a book. You know what, this is my um, Dark Mansion tarot. I didn't get a book with this one. Maybe they don't do books? Or maybe again, see this is the regular edition. And so is this guy, I don't know if it says, but... Um, maybe it comes with the deluxe edition. Ooh, I've seen this card too. It is amazing. Ooh, temperance. She's gorgeous. I've also seen this card. What an amazing devil. He, so he looks like he's got like a human arm here. This one's kind of changing. And then he's got these like tentacles coming out. The tower. And I don't know who the artist was for this, but gorgeous. The star, I have seen this card. Um, the star is um, associated with Aquarius, and I'm an Aquarius, so I also very much love the star card. I mean, everybody should love the star card. It's such a like, gorgeous, hopeful message. Oh, wow, look at the moon. This is a very different moon. Oh, look, she's got the crab right there. And then she's got the dog and the wolf that usually are each kind of howling at the moon. So it still has like the awesome symbolism. That is fun. Oh, look at the sun. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like so excited about this deck, you guys. Judgment. 
I, and I always think of butterflies. There's a lot of butterflies in this deck. Um, I always think of them as like metamorphosis, change. So that's perfect. Oh, look at the world. We've got our, I forget what you call this serpent that has its own tail. It's basically like infinity or cycles or, um, I mean, basically change kind of in with the old, out with the new, go from one good cycle to a bad one, you know, or vice versa. Very nice. Ace of wands. And I, I do appreciate that the ace is just that symbol. I don't like when some decks put like people in the aces because I don't, I don't feel like they should be there because the aces are just the, the personification of that element. So this is fire at its purest, you know, inspiration, passion at its purest form. So I don't really like people in those. Oh, look at two of wands. Look how cool she is. And she's holding the world. Oh my God. Three of wands. Oh, these are just perfect. Four. You guys cannot see my face, but I'm just like lit up. <laughs> this deck is amazing. Five of Wands. Oh my God. I'm going to say it. Fucking amazing. Six of Wands. Oh man, she's definitely wearing like a, a victory headdress, isn't she? I want that outfit. Dang. Dang, girl. Oh, look at this. Seven of Wands. She's definitely holding her ground. Eight of Wands. I love all these tribal chicks. Nine of Wands. I mean, they're definitely fire. Ten of Wands. I've seen this card too. Page of Wands. How awesome is he? Knight of Wands. Oh my God, he's on like a rhinoceros. Look at his, he's got like a, a lion cloak. <gasps> Look at the queen. Oh my God, I just got chills. Oh, and she's got her sunflower. Is there a cat anywhere? Usually the queen of wands has like a cat. Maybe there's a lion or something in here somewhere, I don't know, but she's beautiful. And here's our king. Wow. Oh my God, I can't with this deck, y'all. I cannot. Ace of Cups. The artwork just, oh my God. Two of Cups. Oh my God, we're gonna have mermaid. Oh my God. So we have like tribal feel in the other one. Now we've got mermaids. Holy shit. Yes. I've seen this card too. Three of Cups. Isn't this great? Just hang on with your mermaid chicks. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Six. I'm so excited that this, that the cups are mermaids. Seven, more butterflies. I've seen this card too, Eight of Cups. How gorgeous is this one? Oh, and this one, they, I guess they showed a lot of the cups online. Nine of Cups. This is our wish card. She is feeling it. 
Ten of Cups. Look at the cool fin coming out of his bag. And the rainbow. Because actually, yeah, in the Rider Waite, there is a rainbow. Love it. And then we've got Page of Cups. Oh, look at our knight. He's riding a dolphin. Look at that handsome devil. Oh my God, our queen is amazing. Love. And look at the king. This is definitely Neptune feel here. Oh my gosh, my high priestess, Ethany, is going to love this. I believe Neptune is her patron god. Awesome. All right, we're going to swords. Beautiful. Two of swords. Oh, I love her. Three of swords. I believe I saw this one online, too. Four of Swords, five, six, is that like blood? <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Seven of Swords, oh yeah, he's definitely Leave him with some stuff there. He's being a bandit. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten. I'm trying to get through this before um, somebody comes home and it interrupts my video. <laughs> Page of Swords, I think I saw this one online. Ooh, look at our Knight of Swords. He is on an eagle. Is that an eagle? Looks like an eagle. I've seen this one too, Queen of Swords. Isn't she gorgeous? Again, with their outfits, man, I need these. And we have our King of Swords. All right, now we're down to Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Very abundant. I think I saw this one online. Two of coins. Yep, I knew somebody would walk in while I was doing a video. <laughs> Three of coins. Four. He's definitely uh, keeping track of his money there. He's got like a chest of jewels. Five of coins. Yeah, it's like raining. She looks like she's in despair. Six of coins. Seven. Eight. Oh, that's really cool. Ooh, look at the nine. She's gorgeous. Definitely got the symbolism that I always look for. Ten of coins. I would have liked to see, like, generations of family in this one. Um, it's usually about, like, inheritance, or it's just, it usually has, like, um, generations. Like, your grandparents, the parents, and then the kids. Um, this is the only card I've been disappointed with so far. Page. The knight, is that a bumblebee? Oh no, that's part of his, <laughs> that's part of his helmet. It looked like a bumblebee. This is the only one that's actually riding a horse. And we have our queen, she is Gorge. And our king. Guys, I'm in love with this deck. I kind of put, let me try to flip these over. Whoops. I'm in love with this deck. It is good size. 
a shuffling. I'm doing a terrible job because I don't want to hit the camera. But anyways, guys, totally love this. I will link below. This is, um, it comes from, like I said, Teroteca Studios. There's the name right there. And it's from Poland. Although they did ship it really fast once it actually came off of pre-order. So um, I'll link this up if you guys are interested in this deck. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want to leave me a comment, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you guys would subscribe and hit that um, little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Until next time, thank you. Thank you.